Okay, there you go. Now you know. Good morning. Good to see morning. everyone. A lot of you do have your video on. That's wonderful. The rest of you, it would be great if you turned yours on as well. We could see you. I have to step away for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, we'll wait here. <laughs> All right, last week we worked on when you wish upon a star. And uh, just to recap that, we did some kind of cool things. We worked with dynamics and transpose, style setup, intro, a glissando, a virtuoso. And we did talk about um, being a little bit careful with a glissando because sometimes a hobbyist will forget they think they can insert a glissando anywhere and you have to be mindful of whether the instrument sound that you're using can actually do a glissando and there's a lot of instruments that cannot so we can't insert it if we're using an instrument that's not capable of doing a glissando because then it would be what we would call unrealistic or not authentic. So who would like to play for us? I have well, a jacket. I've got it also. Great. Go for it, Gary. Thank you. Oh. All your friends on this Zoom are thanking you as well. Very nice. Very Thank nice. Thank you. I want to make a couple of comments. Um, when you did our introduction before the professional introduction, the part you played, yes, I love the fact at the end where you played the last note, two notes or three notes, and then played the chord. Yes. That was a very nice effect that we had transferred from a previous song we had right. done as a skill set. And that was a very nice touch. 
Thank um, you. The other thing I really liked is on the second phrase, which is line two, at the A minor, that's measure two, you changed your sound there. Yes. And typically we would finish the first part before we changed our sound. But I thought that was very, very effective the way you did that. I really liked that a lot. And I wouldn't necessarily have even thought to do it there, but wow, that came out very nice. Very, very nice. Really Thank liked you. it. And when you did your um, virtuoso on the second page, first line one, measure two, you did not use the fill, which is what I recommended. Don't use the fill because it'll drown out the virtuoso. Right. And, and you did not do that. And that was very, very good. Really nice job, Gary. Very nice. Thank you. I saw your other tune on YouTube the other day, yesterday or the day before, and that was very good, too. Great. Thanks. You're welcome. Who else has it? Was it Lavon? No, it was uh, Kathy, uh, it's, but I just, I got carried away. I didn't really do exactly what you wanted, but uh, I was still thinking about the, the lady's dreams. So I'll play it. But the lady's what? That we're still dreaming. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's good. You're going to give it personality. Very nice, very nice, bravo. I, I need to ask both of you, um, Gary, what rhythm did you use? Orchestral ballad. Orchestral ballad, okay. And Kathy? Johnny Chances, but I edited out some of the... Yeah, and what was that other tune you put in the middle of it? <laughs> the one we did a couple of weeks ago. Someday my prince will come. I was trying to think of the name of it and I couldn't think of it. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's just been driving me nuts all week. I had to put it in somewhere. She's got a little interlude going here. So has he has he come? Not yet. No, no, we're still waiting. Still waiting. Just like everybody else. Before I thought that was just checking. 
Very <laughs> nice job. Very, very nice. Thank you. Anyone else? Not today. Okay. All righty. Let's go to It Had to Be You. And this is the ending for Vegas Big Band, which I will um, send to Robert to put on Patreon. It's not difficult at all. It's, it hovers around all the same notes. But I wrote it out for you, so you'll have that as soon as I figure out how to do it. <laughs> Well, my computer doesn't scan, so I have to use the store computer and then get the other information capitulated into the store so that I can send it that way when, I, when I'm going to send something that's not a file on my computer, like that intro is not. So, but I'll work it out. It'll, it'll go to him today. I always send it um, the same day that we do the class. So the song set up... <laughs> Song setup on this is unfamiliar to me, but they choose Serenade. And that is just not the way I know the tune. My, I chose Vegas Big Band. I'll do a little of both for you. Vegas Big Band, I slowed down to 112. But this was an up and happening tune as far as the way I knew it on um, song setup on serenade I really like starting with um, rhythm preset one or style setup one but if you do that you have to add your orc plus because number one takes off the orc plus so you have to put it back on after you've selected rhythm preset one so I'm going to play it for you and then I'll tell you what I did to it. How's that? Did you say you are using Style Serenade or not? I'm the first time I'm going to play it is with Vegas Big Band. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. There we go.
Very nice. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. You added a lot in there. <laughs> yeah, <I> sure did. <laughs> Yes, Gary, I was feeling your thoughts as I was playing. <laughs> I was watching that too. Now, let me do the song setup because I just, wow, this is so not how I knew it, but I don't know where it came from. There's a lot of rhythms you could use, of course, uh, for this, depending on where you, you know the song. Let's find it had to be you it comes up as serenade on the aria that too mm -hmm. oh i don't get it but we'll we'll take a stab at it here then bill I'll... must have had a bad weekend i uh, maybe <laughs> or he missed his medication i'm not sure <laughs> I like Vegas Big Band better. More upbeat, yes. Yes. Me too. I mean, I thought that Vegas Big Band, I used to do a really big arrangement of this, which I don't remember anymore, by the way. Um, I thought the Vegas Big Band gave the song a lot of personality. Yes. Um, yeah. With the serenade, I was wanting to be in a rocking chair. So. Put you to sleep, yeah. <laughs> so. It, I just was missing the pizzazz in it. So that's why I did it differently. But like I said, you, you have a lot of rhythm choices in, in the big band uh, genre there with all your different rhythms and the extras on the marquee aria, whatever, the symphony. Um, I'm doing a song for an intermediate class that's going to start next week. And I can't remember what this, oh. I can't remember what the song was I was doing, but they used that. This is how we can uh, manipulate the rhythms. And I'm telling you this because try it out. They used after the love for this song, like when it first pulled it up on the symphony, I said, what? How can that be? And slowed it like way down. And it was actually kind of fascinating what it was. So 
um, there's ways for you to alter um, the rhythm styles at your choice. So let me give you what I've done to it. First of all, the chords are basic that they did. Um, so chords that I'm going to give you are going to be um, two chords in a measure. So write it in, whether you can play them or not. They're not difficult chords, but write it in because you may not play it now, but you may play it later, six months from now or whatever. So at least you'll have it. Um, so the first chord is a C. I played a C major seventh, which would be C and B. B is in boy. In the same measure on beat three, I played D as in dog minor seventh. And on the tie, which is measure two, the beat it's tied, I played E minor seventh. What would that be called? Walk up. Yes, exactly. That's a walk up. And then on the last measure of the line one, on the C eighth note, which is the word is had, I played a C chord. So I walked up and then I went back. C major seventh, D minor seventh, E minor seventh, and then back to C. Then you're gonna see me do that in different forms throughout the song. Line two, the first chord is A7. In the, in the same measure, beat number three, I played B as in boy minor, and then over the tie, I went back to A7, just to give it a little movement. I mean, you can sit on the A7 for five beats, but why when we can give it a little oomph there, okay? On line three, measure two, I played the D7, which you're already holding from the previous line, and then in the same measure, beat three, I went to E minor seventh. And then over the tie, I went back to D seven. So there's not a lot of moving chords, so to speak, but just enough to give it a little lift. On line four, I'm going to detain the G seven. So first I'm gonna play D as in dog minor seventh, and then over the tie, that's where I will play the G as in George seven. Everybody with me so far? Uh, Joni, I'm kind of lost on that last line. Last line, instead did, of playing Instead of playing the G7, play D as in dog minor seventh. And then over the tie, that's where you want to play the G7. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Johnny, can you do the third line again? Yes. Line three, measure two. You're already on a G7, D as in dog. And then in the same measure, I played E minor seventh, and then over the tie, I went back to D7, D as in dog. Thank you. Or G7. Just a little bit of movement there. On the very last measure of the first page, I played an A minor, and then I played an A flat augmented, which is only if you're playing the A minor, A, C, E, it's only a one note difference. You'll just go down the A flat. And then at the top of the second page, I went 
I played A minor seven. And I did that in my right hand as well. I played an A with the C. I played a C. And then I played an A flat. And then I played a G. Because that's the notes that are in that chord. So it gave it a little harmony. Now, the instrument already had automatic harmony on, but that's okay. If you add anything extra in your right hand, it just gives you more. So it gives a nice little touch for you. On the second page, line one, measure two, on the eighth note C, which is the third beat, I played E minor chord there. And then on line two, first beat, I played D as in dog seven. Line two, measure two, I played four chords in one measure. Starts with D as in dog minor. I played then E minor seventh on the second beat. On the third beat, I played the F chord. And on the fourth beat, I played the F sharp chord. And then finish that progression up over the tie with a G7. And I did the same notes in the right hand. Just the name of the notes. D, E, F, F sharp, G. So I played along with me playing those chords. It sounds like this. Oh, wait. I got to go back. <coughs> I'm just I'm not ready to do the rocking chair thing yet. So here we go. Let's see. I'll start from the beginning of the line. Sorry. I did a fill. A no chord because I'm going to change my sound right there at that time. Again, that line. Okay, that's what I did there. So I wrote the notes, and let me see if I can show this to you. I wrote the notes. See, I'm on the octave lower to do the right hand notes. So I wrote D, E, F, F sharp, and then G, just like that. Can you see that okay? Back here, I did a little grace note. It's going from D to E. So prior to hitting the E, I hit an E flat and slipped off of it. Just E flat to E, just as if you made a mistake. Just slide your finger right off it. Okay? Everybody with me so far? I'll take that as a yes. 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 Good. Yes. Okay, line three, the first chord is C, and on beat three, I do a D as in dog minor seventh over the tie i play an e minor seventh and over beat three which is the c eighth note i played a c chord so it's very little movement but just enough to 
give it a little pizzazz and keep it moving. On measure three of line three, there's an A7 chord there. So guess what I did after that? Did anybody guess? Did B minor and A? B minor and then A7. I did B minor, B as in boy on the third beat, B minor, and then over the tie back to A7. Very good guess. Although I think I make it easy for you because I'm pretty predictable, right? <laughs> it's just a repeat from what you did before. <laughs> yeah. I do step out of my box just for the record. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. All right, so that's it until the very last measure. I have that D7 going on. It's been held for um, two measures now. I do the D7 and then I go to E minor seventh. And along with that, I also use the fill. And at the top of the page, over the tie, I went back to D as in dog seven. Would you repeat that last line? Yes, the last measure. You're already on a D7. And then in the third beat, you want to do E minor seventh with the fill. And then at the top of the page, you want to do D as in dog seven. Is that Sylvia I'm talking to? Yeah, that is correct. I thought I knew <laughs> your, I know your voices. <laughs> so, um, and right there at the very end of the song, I'm going to come back to here. So you see, I added a double bar and two dots because I want to come back to here to give it a little bit more final ending. You see that? Yep. Got it. Got it. Okay, good. And that's it, except for the very last line, line four, just before the E eighth note. I did the E flat. I slipped off the E. That's all. A little grace note. That's all. And then at the end, I did an F, a C. And on the third beat, I played F minor. And then on the last, very last tied measure, I played a C6 and hit the fill and drew in my dots because I want to go up to the top of the page and repeat that. You see that? Can you repeat the, the chords on that last line again? Yes, please? there's a C chord. And then on beat three, I'm going to play an F minor chord, F as in Frank. And then in the very last measure, I played a C6, or you could just play a C, whatever, whatever is easiest for you. Then I go Did back. you say that on the first beat, you're replacing the C chord with an F chord? No, I play the C chord, and then on beat three, I play the F minor chord. Okay. So it's on beat two that you play the F chord. No, it's beat three. Well, I thought you just said F minor. I did on beat three. Do I play the F? You play F minor on beat three of measure two. Okay, got it. And then the last measure, you play C <laughs> or C6. Okay, everybody with me? Yep, got it. 
and then I played along in the Vegas big band. I played along with the ending, which is really kind of fun to do. I think when I played it the first time, I actually played along with the intro as well. Yes, it's the yes. same. It's yes. the it's the same pattern. The first time you did it, I thought that on line two, with all of your faults, I thought you played that with all of it, and then you went down for the G. Is that correct? I don't know where you are. On the second line on the last page. The last page? You thought I did what? On the first time through, with all of your faults. No. That's what I thought you did. No, I went up to the G. Just okay. The way, just the way it's written. I know you did the second time. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Let's do it again. <clears throat> and start with rhythm preset zero. But I took my harmony off because I want to play along with the intro. Good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you like it. It's a fun song to play, actually. So Anything? on the on the third page. Yes. Um. I know that you were going from C to F minor to D six, and then you repeated. Where, where? But when you finished, you Third. didn't march up those chords, did On you? The first page. What line? Third. There's a D7, and then in the same measure, E minor 7th. Are you looking on the third page? He's not talking about the last page. End. Oh, the end. That first page. Okay. On line three, are you saying? No, the last line. The ending. The, la the very last long line I played. Yeah. You see? gave us some chords just before the repeat. Right. C but then when you got to the very end, you didn't use those chords. Did you use yes, the I, did. I used it both times. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then went back to the C for the end? Yeah. Okay. 
Yep, absolutely. Very good. Got a good ear. Any other questions? So if you're in a mellow mood, you might want to go to song setup and use the serenade. But if you look at the lyrics, it's kind of interesting. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found the somebody who could make me be true, could make me be blue. Maybe that's why they use serenade. And even be glad just to be sad thinking of you. So it needs a perk up. Yeah, agree. Agree. Say that again. Agree. <laughs> so did you use and Vegas Big Band at the tempo it came up? Vegas Big Band? The Vegas Big Band at what oh, tempo? No, 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 no. It comes on way, way, way too fast. The tempo I set was 112. Thank you. And I've never, I never had time in my career really to watch many movies. So I've not seen, that's um, on my retirement bucket list. I'd like to watch one movie a day to kind of catch up for all the ones I've missed because I love Broadway musicals and whatnot. Uh, but at least my bucket list says at least two movies a week. <laughs> so I, can, I can play catch up. So when I'm retired, I finally understand all these, all these tunes that came from movies that I never saw. Never seen this one either. Harry Met Sally. I've heard about it. Nope. But yeah, yeah. Never never seen. It. It's a good show. It's a good movie. Okay. All right. Anything else? I my I had the bookmarked uh, McSwing at one thirty eight and upbeat. I don't know where it came from, but anyway, uh, I just had it noted on my uh, piece of music. I don't know. Well, it says swing on the music. That's yeah, the rhythm style. Yeah, but you know not to ever listen to that. Right. No. Right. No. Uh. -uh. Somebody must have given it to me, but I. I well, it's... I want to. I want to hear what that sounds like before we leave. Oh, it's too fast for one thing. I had to adjust the tempo quite a bit. So I settled at about 111 on mixed swing. Okay. Okay. I don't think I would want to do it with a jazz organ sound, which is rhythm with a Lenny D organ sound, which is um, rhythm preset zero, but I have a shearing sound. That has a little bit. Yeah. That's a little better for me. And then you have brass as number 10 typically anyway. So when you change, you can go to that. I thought this was kind of fun. It's a fun song. Good. Yeah. Any questions or comments? Uh, what you're putting on Patreon, is that an intro or an ending? It's an ending. And it's, mar it's marked as an ending. I guess you'll be sending out a list for next month? Yeah. I have it 
finished, I just haven't pulled the trigger. I figured I would do it today. I always <laughs> second guess myself. So before I send out the list, I go and play to see what kind of arrangement I'm going to make for each one of those songs. Um, and so I always kind of hold back <laughs> to to check it two or three times to be sure I'm satisfied. <laughs> and, and then once I know they all work as nice, nicely created arrangements, then I go ahead and send it. So we have some unusual tunes coming up for next month. But I'll check it one more time today, and then I'll go ahead and send the email out. And again, if you happen to be in Sun City, Florida, we'd love to have you for the concert. The workshop is at... Um, 10.45, and the concert is at 11.30, and that's for a 4th of July patriotic celebration. So just give us a call and tell us you're coming so I know how many chairs we need, and we'll be all set up and ready for you. Okay? Thank I'll think you. think of that on our July 1st. I'm sorry? I'll think of that on our July 1st Canada date. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, have a blessed day. Have you some, too. Have a, some musical fun and um, uh, try to endure this weather. That's <laughs> all we can do. <laughs> That's right. Thank, thank you much. Appreciate it. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Joni. Right, welcome. We'll see you next Tuesday. Right. Okay. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.